welcome to The Travelling Introvert. Today I am going to talk about interviewing, uh, video interviewing actually. And um, the reason I want to talk about this is because people in general don't really prepare for interviews the right way. What tends to happen is they'll have a job and be working in the job and be fine until some incident happens and they decide they want a new job. Then they go into panic mode and they start updating their LinkedIn and updating their resume and trying to figure out where they might want to move to next, whether it be in the same department, a different department or a different company altogether. And then they'll start splashing and, and putting their, their resume everywhere and getting recruiters and that sort of a thing. And then I'll have a phone interview. And that's when the panic sets in because it's probably been years since they last did a phone interview. And so they kind of wing it and they, they maybe go and look on Google and see what questions they might be asked or talk to the recruiter. And then the next stage might be a video interview. And then they've done a little bit of research on the company and they've figured some stuff out, but they haven't really honed the answers to the questions that get commonly asked in interviews. And so the whole thing is like a crash course in interviewing. And then, then they wonder why they don't really get through until maybe the fourth or fifth round when they've got through doing a bunch of interviews. And it's because you're out of practice. And so there is a few ways to make this work for you. Um, you should always have an up-to-date resume and your LinkedIn should always be up-to-date. You should always be getting new connections so it doesn't tip anyone off if all of a sudden you've, you know, tried to get 18 new connections. It's normal if that's what you do all the time. But the biggest thing, the biggest thing that is helpful for you is once a week or once every two weeks, sit down in front of your computer against a background that you think would be suitable for a video interview. And if you can't find one, this gives you time to figure out where in your house might be good, depending on the time of day. Because there might be, you know, it's in mid-afternoon, the sun might glare, or it might be a window issue. But once every couple of weeks, do a recording into your computer, like a selfie. And it can be just held on your computer. It could be Facebook Live into like a private group that you have. And practice answering interview questions. Have a list and work your way through the list. You can do one question per week and that's 52 questions and you're kind of good because that will give you a chance to figure out what you want to say, how you want to say it, how it might look on video. Maybe you have a weird facial expression that you didn't know about or that you say um a lot or whatever your your tick might be, your verbal tick might be. So this is a great way to figure it out. And if you don't want to look at the video, maybe have a friend take a look at it and see what they think and they can critique it in a nice way. Um, or if you have a recruiter friend, ask them, hey, you know, once a month, can you just check this video and see what I'm doing wrong? This is a great way to challenge yourself, A, to get used to answering questions and B, what you look like on video, because sometimes there's nothing worse than seeing yourself on video or hearing yourself back and cringing. And see, knowing that you have a good background, so should you be asked to do a video interview, you're not scrambling to to move the stuffed toys out of the way or get the right settings or sitting down or standing up or whatever it might be, you've practiced this, you're prepared. It will make you feel much more at ease because you've done it before. You know what you're going to say, you know how you're going to say it, and that alone will reduce your anxiety level. And that's really what interviewing is about. It's about seeing how you deal with pressure. And this is a way of combating that. And as an introvert, that's really exciting because you've gotten over all of those things and those nerves and those flutterbys because you've practiced over and over again. So it almost becomes second nature. And that is one way of making sure that you will fly through your video interview. I'd love to hear of any other tips or tricks that you might have about going through a video interview. I know someone did literally 30 day live selfie answering interview questions and an, uh, an employer saw it and hired him because of it. So it's just something to think about how you can challenge yourself to be a better interviewee. Thank you for listening. This is Janice from The Career Introvert, helping all introverts shine. Have a great week.